Mom, when can I play Mario games like Jacob? Jacob is much older than you, honey. Mom! You still have a lot to learn. You can play Mario at Jacob's age. Can I play Mario and learn at the same time? That's what I want. I know what you're thinking. Matt, what are you doing? Blasting educational games? They're for kids. Give them a break. Well, you know what? If you're okay with that, if you're okay with our kids being exposed to this filth, that's on you. Bitch. You ever played Carmen San Diego? Those games were awesome. And I've never played Oregon Trail, but I hear it's good too, and I'm all for jumping on the bandwagon. Educational Mario games are not that. They were officially licensed, but Nintendo never had any involvement in making them, and you can always tell. They really may as well have been unlicensed bootlegs. You may already be aware of some of the more infamous Educational Mario games, like Mario is Missing and Mario's Time Machine. Quote unquote games that are packed with information that's probably accurate, but do very little else to keep your interest, especially that of a little kid. But we're not gonna talk about those today, at least. Instead, we'll be talking about ones for... <gasps> It can't be. No. 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 I mean, I guess I'll give him a go. If it'll make you shut up for once, I might just throw an Xbox control at me. This shit's expensive. Moms. In a book called Innovation and Marketing in the Video Game Industry, these games were called part of a flood of ill-conceived Mario spin-offs that nearly destroyed the series. Damn, that is some strong fucking criticism. We gotta check them out now, right? We're gonna start off with Mario teaches typing. Oh no no no, not the fucking PC speaker again. The monophonic speaker capable of such joyous sounds as and <laughs> yeah, this screen pretty much sums up the experience. Mario is sitting down like, time to teach typing. And everyone else is like, holy shit, not again. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. It's a pretty average typing program. Well, that son is just enjoying this an awful lot. In this one, Mario looks like he just caught you masturbating in his own house. M Mario, the only thing I'm fingering is a keyboard, I promise. D hey, don't look so dejected. This doesn't have to change anything between us. Here, Mario is uh, really enjoying his life being in imminent danger. There's no real way to die. If you don't type, everything just stops. That Koopa's like, oh, I really want to get him, but I guess I'll wait. Let's form an orderly line. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mario's just like, uh, can I go now? Is that it? Uh, are we done yet? In this one, if you stop typing for a while, he just bails like, fuck it is. You're a lost cause. I'm out. You might be thinking, why play a game if there's no way to lose? But you know what? It's totally worth it for that banging soundtrack. Okay, I'm being a little unfair. It did support way better sound, but you have to have a compatible sound card. Never leave home without it. Now it plays music directly ripped from Super Mario World. Mario also talks. Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing. But wait a second, that don't sound like Mario. That ain't Charles Martin, eh? Nope, this was 1991 when Mario's voice ranged from On your mark, get set, go! To Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. It wasn't until 1995 in Mario's Game Gallery, also called Mario's Fun! Dementals, that Charles Martinet's Mario that we all know and love made its first appearance. Mario's a game gallery. A lot of people think that Super Mario 64 was the first game to feature Charles Martinet. And they're right, because Mario's game gallery is not a game. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just a bunch of mini games that you can play against Mario. Now, I love Mario's voice and all, but it gets kind of grating here. I know, I, it's just a little. I mean, he just doesn't stop talking. It's a your turn. It's a my turn now. It's a my turn now. It's a my turn now. You next. It's a your turn. It's a your turn. You always have to wait for him to finish before you can do anything, which means every single game moves at a snail's pace at best. And you know, sometimes he sounds weirdly passive aggressive. You win against him and he just says something like, I'm a really enjoy playing with you. Like, Mario, come on, you're allowed to be mad. You don't have to lie to me, we're tight, right? Mario think you fantastic. See, that's what I thought. Wait, did you mean that? But at least he's way less annoying than the voice they gave the player. Mario, go fish. <laughs> Why does this sound like a 35 year old pretending to be a nine year old, pretending to give a shit about playing go fish with Mario? You can turn off the voices, but if anything, then it goes too quickly. How's any kid gonna read this shit? Charles, I do love you and Mario's voice, but there's only so many times I can hear. Come here, fishy fishy. Here, fishy fishy. It's your turn. Great. I'm a like. Dominoes? 
Well, I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good pizza every now and then? Alright, so you've seen those two, but trust me, I've saved the weirdest for last. You are not ready for this. Mario teaches typing two. What, you're underwhelmed? You've already seen Mario in typing instructor form? Just wait. Whoa, nice graphics! I'd like to get my hands on that game. Man, I didn't realize I loaded up Paper Mario. Hey, uh, Mario, uh, why the long face? And the noodly fucking legs, I, it looks like he's mid-twisting his ankle and falling. Oh, this screen. Where to even begin? Luigi's like, oh, Mario, we must get away from a Bowser. And then Mario's like, hang on, not the before I finish my thesis on tentacle porn. Meanwhile, Bowser's over here like, I was just gonna invite you in for cake. More for me, I guess. Look, now you made the chef mad. This is the last time I'm inviting you to castle angry face. Then this happens. Hello, it's me, Mario. Thank you for starting me up. It's cold. It's so cold. Yuck, so this is our main companion. This weird, creepy, bony Mario head. Reminds me of Motherboard from Cyber Chase. I mean, it was probably revolutionary for the time, but Mario 64 did it way better. Ugh, I'm conflicted, really. Apart from the slightly off-model and jumpy, erratic animation, they definitely try to make him charming and fun. And Charles Martinet's voice work does wonders in this regard. I'm a bet you can't do this. All these video clips are directly playable from the disc. They're uh, no longer supported in Windows 10 though. Ah, now nah, that's progress. My favorite part is how the background is nearly solid blue in most of them, which means I can do this. I'm going to fly for you. The game itself is almost identical to the first Mario Teacher's Typing, even though it came out a whole six years later. But this time, each stage is linked by a cutscene that calls Hotel Mario to mind. Not the best thing your work could be associated with. The magical typewriter is the key to beating Bowser. What, you've been doing it with your bare hands this whole time? What are you, some kind of idiot? Be forewarned, however, that if the magic words are not typed exactly, the magical typewriter will self-destruct into pieces. My god, what? What power? What, what responsibility? Mario, what the fuck are you doing? Stop, Mario, stop! <laughs> you fucking dumbass. He needs your help. Fuck that! He got himself into this mess, he can get himself out. So you make your way through the typing exercises and every now and then another cutscene will progress the plot. Imagine that, a typing game with a plot. That'd be like trying to make a TV series out of pac Oh wait, they did that. So the Coopers don't want Mario to have the typewriter for obvious reasons, so he just fucking... Pfft. Oh, dude, nasty. That typewriter's gonna be covered in ball sweat. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no, he did it. Hey Luigi, look. It's water. Well, you're right. I'm just gonna piss in it real quick. Radical. Hey Luigi, look. It's a blunt... I mean, snorkel gear. Oh my god, Mario, where did you go? Who was that guy? <laughs> Alright, so I've got three pieces of the typewriter. That's a good start. We'll find the next three in no toll. That's all of them. I, I mean, if you just stayed in an enclosed room, you'd be fine. Just put it back together every time you make a mistake. Yeah, like that. All right, so does this mean we finally get a showdown with Bowser? The boss battle of our dreams. We made it all this way, and now it's time to, uh, watch it all happen in a cutscene. Great, that's, that's cool. I didn't even want to take down Bowser. I, I just wanted more typing exercise. Yeah, please. That's what I want. Just it really just gets me going. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Guess what time it is? It's time for you to type! Mario puts the fun in fucking bullshit. Hey, that was fun, and thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, subscribe! This shit comes out every Friday. <coughs> Be sure to check out my Twitter where I post all my inane ramblings, as well as my Facebook page where I dump random things from the videos. Yeah, would you believe it? They wouldn't let me make it all one word. More like Mark Fuckerberg, am I right? I love hearing from you guys, so if you have any feedback or anything cool you want to say or send to me, go right ahead on either of those or right here on YouTube. In any case, thanks a lot, guys. Bye!